season's greetings. Let's find the derivative of sine squared of x using the chain rule. If you're a little foggy on the chain rule, I'll explain it as we go, and I've written it over here. To use the chain rule, we need to have a function inside of another function. It's called function composition. So do we have that going on here? Well, you gotta make sure you understand what sine squared of x means. And I see a lot of people make mistakes with this. So let's make sure we're really clear about what this means. Sine squared of x is sine of x times sine of x. For the chain rule, it might be easier if we write it like this. Sine of x squared, that's what it is. So we could use the product rule here, but the chain rule is really quite a bit nicer. So we're gonna do that instead. Now to use the chain rule, we've got to identify our outside function and take its derivative, and then multiply that by the derivative of the inside function, and then we're done. So give it a try before watching the rest of the lesson. All right, here we go. We're gonna take the derivative of sine squared of x with respect to x with the chain rule. So what is our outside function here? The outside function is a thing squared, a thing squared. So it's like the outside function is x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x. Similarly, when we take the derivative of the outside function here, we just have two times whatever was getting raised to that power of two. It's just the power rule. We had sine of x squared, we drop the exponent as a factor, and then we reduce the exponent by one. So we did have an exponent of two, now we've got an exponent of one. That's the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function the same. That's this piece of the chain rule right there. The only part that's left is multiplying by the derivative of the inside function. The outside function was a thing squared, so the inside function is just sine of x. Just gotta multiply by the derivative of sine of x. What's the derivative of sine of x? That, of course, is cosine of x. And that's literally it, we're done. The derivative of sine squared of x is two sine of x cosine of x. And if you wanted to, you could try doing it with the product rule and you'd get the same thing.